Well then, let's get started. Tonight a swarm of zombies will rise up and attack, so we're gonna reinforce this house with anti-zombie security measures. A swarm of zombies? We need a security system! Hurry, JJ! For today, our plan is to protect this house by using ten different security systems. Ten security systems? To kick things off, we're gonna use lava. Lava is super useful. It's the simplest, most effective security system there is. We just have to dig a moat around the house like this, then fill it up. All right. It's digging time. Oh, I see. Okay. Nice. Let's split up to dig faster. Yeah, sure. Just like this. Great. Wow, protective lava is a really good idea. Yep, simple and effective. That's lava for you. It rocks. Amazing. There, that looks good. Oh. There we go. All right, that does it for the digging. Now all we need to do is pour in the lava. Okay, go, go, go! It's pretty simple. Simple but powerful. No one can get close. Right, no one will be able to reach us. We're ready for anything. Wow, impressive. Nice. That should take care of most of the zombies. They'll be driven off. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, okay, that's probably good enough. Awesome, it's good enough. We're all done? Our protective lava's complete. Next are the snow golem turrets. Snow golem turrets? What are those? You'll see, Mikey. You'll see. First, we need to build a few towers to hold our snow golems in. Maybe we can build them with stone bricks like these. Now then, we just need to add some trap doors. Trap doors? Next, we'll add in some snow and finally a carved pumpkin. Now it's time to put everything together. Mm. There's a specific way to put on the trap doors. Like this. Nice! And some more trap doors will go up here. Oh! Then you just carve out the middle of your tower. Huh? That looks strong! Now you can summon tons of snow golems. That's awesome! See this? Interesting! I want to try it too! Hmm. Quite a few golems. Finished. Our snow golem turret. Now you try. Sure. I think that's right. Like this? Oh, I get it. And now. Yeah? Lay down the blocks. Like that. Oh, okay. It's hard to place the blocks in the air, so try to crouch when you do it. That'll make it easier. All right. The impressive thing about snow golem turrets is that they throw snowballs when they see enemies. Awesome! So with this many snow golems, they'll bombard the zombies with their snowballs. Unfortunately, snowballs don't do any damage. They're gonna fight for us, though. Yep, they fight for you, so it's really powerful. They can hold off anything. I guess that means our snow golem turrets are finished. Now then, Mikey. Number three, a secret entrance. Secret entrance? Yep, basically it's just like a basement. Huh? Check it out! Whoa! Hmm. If we want to fight the zombies, we'll need to use this basement effectively. I'd like to be able to go straight into the basement from the outside. That's why we're installing a secret entrance. It's probably a good idea to build it outside of the moat. This area looks good. Let's start building our secret entrance around here. I think that maybe I'll turn this section here into a staircase. Keep on digging! Oh, I'll help! This should be deep enough. Nice. I'll keep going ahead. All right, now for the actual stairs. Awesome! Nice. This passage here... Yeah? Let's connect it to the basement. Hook it up. Over here? If I counted correctly, it should line up perfectly. Whoa! Check it out! It worked! Amazing! Perfect. Now then... We haven't made this entrance a secret yet. That's true. We haven't hidden it yet. Let's do that right now. The most important things we need are sticky pistons. Then we need some redstone dust and repeaters. I'll just clear this out. That's perfect. Now we can put these in here. Awesome. There we go. What's next? Oh yeah, 
Now we need to attach some repeaters to the sticky pistons. Here's the first one. Mm. The second one goes on the second slot. Oh. Hmm, great. Next up. Interesting. That's how you set it up. Nice. Then you just connect it with the redstone like this. Oh. Looking good. There, just like that. Good job! Now to use the redstone dust. Yeah? And then? Then we can have the lever right here. Okay. Just pull it. Ah, the last one didn't activate. I should reinforce the signal with more repeaters. Good idea. Okay. It works! Whoa. Now what? It works! Now we just attach grass blocks to cover all these sticky pistons. Whoa! Like this. That was incredible! Watch this. Oh! Whoa! We just cover the rest? Yep. Wow, impressive! Huh, I think there's something not quite right about these three. Okay. Perfect. Now everything is working correctly. Wonderful! Now then, we just have to make the redstone circuit undetectable. Alright. Like this? Just like that. Nice! Nice! Just lay it down and hide everything from sight. Okay. Can't forget this spot. Awesome! Oh, it works! Yeah, it's amazing! You can walk right in. Wow! Mm, we still need to make a lever so we can open it from the inside, too. Let's do it. Makes sense. How are you going to add it to the inside of the tunnel? I just have to lay down some redstone on the inside as well. Hmm. A lever will probably do the trick. Amazing! Whoa! Sweet! Whoa! It's finished? It closed perfectly. That's the best security! Mm-hmm. There, our secret entrance is done. All finished! This was our third security system. Now we can get into the house using the secret entrance. But Mikey, in the unlikely event that our secret entrance is exposed... Security System 4 can be fire charged turrets. That sounds strong! To make fire charged turrets, we'll need all of the following items. Dispensers, redstone comparators, redstone dust, and levers. And I can't forget to mention fire charges. With all that, I think it would make sense for the first fire charged turret to go somewhere around here. Hmm. Then the second one here? Plus, we'll need a way to watch over the invaders, so we'll have to build ourselves some stairs. This will raise us high enough. All right. Now then... Oh, thanks, Mikey. We need to put the fire charges inside the dispensers. In that case, I'll put more in. Next, I'll need to break some blocks and open up some space along the walls here. Like this. Bust up the walls. What's next? Next, we need to install the lever. Oh. Mm -hmm. There. Here's the redstone comparator. Mm, oh. Now we connect it with redstone dust. Wow! Like this. I'll put this here. That's good enough for now. Nice! Mm. I think this should work. Impressive! Let's try. Wow! This is amazing! So powerful! Whoa! All done! I have a pretty good feeling there won't be any zombies who make it through this hallway. There's no way! Now to patch up the walls. You can kind of camouflage it. Like this. Right. Yep, still works. Maybe I'll raise this up a level. Okay. Oh, nice! It's amazing. Flawless. I guess that means our fire-charged turrets are complete. 
All right, Mikey, if we're gonna fight zombies, then we'll need to arm ourselves. There's really no other way to survive. Hmm. What did you have in mind? Well, when the zombies attack, it'll take a lot of time to equip all the armors and weapons, especially if it's one piece at a time. We should make an automatic equipment system to do it all at once. What? Is that actually a thing? It is. Let's build it. What kind of items will we need? Well, for starters, we'll definitely need dispensers and some redstone dust. Mm. Oh yeah, and a button. First things first, we need to set up two dispensers on each wall like this. Once those are finished, we should build one into the floor too. We need to have another dispenser that goes above your head. Then we need some redstone dust down here, and we can put the button somewhere on the side there. That's it! That's it? Yep. Huh? What's that for? Let's make one for you, just for Mikey. Let's see. Hmm. Like that. Oh. Then we'll add one on the ground. There, done. Now you just need to choose the six things you want from it. In my case, maybe I'll go with the netherite. Netherite armor and a netherite sword. One, two, three, four, five. I need one more item. I'll go with a golden apple. Nice choice. Now I just have to fill it up. Swords. There we go. I chose all mine. All right. Okay, finished. When the zombies attack, we can just run in here. All we have to do is press the button and we'll be fully equipped in no time. Wow, amazing. Let's try it out later. Sounds good. Time for measure six. I want to build a zombie capture device. We could probably use the captured zombies for science. Yeah. We'll use this hole to trap them. Let's build it here. Yeah, somewhere here. Sure. Now then, Mikey, we need to cover the hole with four trap doors placed like this. Right here. Right here? The next step is to surround the whole thing with redstone dust. Okay. All right. Next, we need to send a signal from down below. We can build it vertically, like this. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Great. I think that's done. Now. Perfect. It just needed a lever. Look. Amazing. When you flip the lever, they fall in the hole. We'll capture all the zombies wandering around above us. Mm. If we lead them to the trap on purpose, we can intentionally push them in and capture them down here. I see it now. Wow. I guess I need to build a cage. Yeah, you do. Let's see here. We could build it with a stone fence, like this. Yep, like this? Just like that. Nice. Yeah, you got it. Iron bars. All right. These iron bars. A cell. Whoa. These iron bars turned it into a jail cell. This is great. We can take out the zombies that fall in the hole. Yeah? And use them as our research subjects. Good idea. It's a great trap. Whoa, it's closed now. I feel so safe. Security system complete. Next is number seven, a self-destruct mechanism. Self-destruct? Yep. Why would we do that? If there are too many zombies for us to handle, or if they're about to take over the house, our last resort will be to blow the entire place up. Huh? Come up here. Coming. Blowing up the house is crazy. I was thinking we could build it up on the roof. On the roof? Yep. First, we need to spread some dispensers around evenly along the ceiling. Just like this. You got it? Yeah. Is this right? Hmm. Check it out. The dispensers are going to go in above these holes. OK. It's dangerous to load them with TNT, so for now, let's just load them with redstone dust. We can always just switch it out later when the zombies come. Now to add the redstone dust. That's all of them? Yep. Next, we'll connect everything through a redstone comparator, so the mechanism should look a little something like this. All right. 
Hang on. Place these one at a time. <gasps> oh no, I let the lava in! I fixed it. Now then. Yeah? Place blocks in every other spot, like this. Sure. Now the next step is to place down a single redstone torch on every block. That way the signal will travel to the top. Mm -hmm. And then comes the lever. Maybe I'll switch this block. Like this. Maybe not. What's going on? Just flip this switch whenever you want to turn it on or off. Okay, sure. This is probably turned off, but we should keep it like that for now. We'll just make sure it stays closed off. Uh -huh. Just like that. If you switch the lever on, it'll activate the self-destruct mechanism. So I'd like to keep it nice and secure. I think that should do the trick. We'll leave the lever behind a red stained glass pane. If we need to access the lever, we can just smash the glass. Mm. And switch it on. Okay. Hmm. There. All right, Mikey. Flip the lever so I can make sure that it's working. Sure. Let's see. Three, two, one. Go! Huh? Whoa, check it out. It's raining redstone dust. If it were real, that would all be TNT. What? It's super dangerous. You can say that again. There's no going back from that, so we have to be extra careful. I'll be extra careful. I'll put the TNT in now. Now it's time for measure number eight, the secret escape hatch. Secret escape hatch? When we activate the self-destruct mechanism, we'll need to make a quick escape, or else. True. We need a plan for when that happens, like a secret escape hatch. <gasps> we have to make a break for it and flee from the hideout. That sounds great. It's good just in case we need it. Yeah, that's a good point. For the escape hatch, it's a secret. So maybe we should hide it with moss and stuff? There's a bunch of items like that we can use to disguise it so no one else can get in. We'll use moss blocks and moss. What are those for? We'll put it right next to the self-destruct mechanism. Nice! Right here. Oh. Use the moss. Hang on. There. First, use a shovel to make a dirt block path. Then after that, lay out a piece of moss carpet on top. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, the most important part actually goes behind the blocks of moss. Right here. Sure. Attach a lever here, right behind the block. There, that's perfect. Oh. Then put some more moss blocks on top. That's probably good for now. What is it? Well, take off the moss carpet. Huh? Now you can see the lever through here. No way! You can actually oh. reach the lever. You can? Amazing! Yeah. No one will know it's there. Yep. This is for our secret escape hatch, so it needs to be secret from everyone. Yeah, let's keep it a big secret. We need to put a repeater here. Mm -hmm. And some redstone dust. Right, now it's finally time to dig the hole for the secret escape hatch, somewhere around here. Whoa! Hmm, okay, what's next? Oh, I get it. Fill it all in. Okay. Whoa! Then if you knock the moss carpet off, uh -huh. you can hit the lever and jump down here. That's the eighth security measure, the secret escape hatch. No one will ever find it. Who would even think about looking back there? Let's keep going. Number nine, the underwater getaway railway. The ocean is actually on the other side of here. Really? The ocean? Let's go. Dig to the ocean. I never realized it, but I guess our house has an ocean view. See? Whoa! Eureka! Wow, the ocean. This means we have an escape route that goes right into the ocean. As for our mode of transportation, I was thinking we could build a secret railway. I like that idea. Let's start by getting the rails ready. We'll need enough for two people. The water keeps on pushing me back, J. 
JJ? In times like these, use signs. Signs? Just like this. Oh! I think we'll have to remove them later, though, so there's enough space to build the railway. This is much better. Let's clear this. <laughs> All right, now it's time to lay the first rails. Yeah, let's lay them down. We can use redstone blocks under the actual rails for a power source. Then, we can place powered rails on top. Mm. One here. Make another railway? That way, there's one for each of us. Sounds good! Okay. We should hurry. Now then. Huh? Time to place the buttons. Here. An ordinary rail. Now, because the rails were updated to work underwater... What? Really? Let's add rails all the way to the ocean! Yeah! More rails! Whoa! It works! Let's keep going. Just like this. Like this? Oh, I see! Nice! Awesome! We don't want to drown in the minecarts, so this is far enough. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter that the rails work underwater if we have no air to breathe. Finally, Mikey. What is it? The tent security. An underwater shelter. An underwater shelter? Sounds tricky. Since zombies only go on land, we can hide in the ocean where they won't be able to get us. We'll just stay underwater all night long until the sun comes up in the morning and takes care of the remaining zombies for us. It'll be the ultimate, last-ditch, emergency underwater shelter. Oh. It doesn't need to be that big, since it's pretty much just a panic room. All right. How's this? Nice. That's good enough. We're almost done. I guess it could be a block wider. OK. Our security is almost ready to go. That's awesome. I can't wait. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Like this. Mm. We need an entrance for the rails. Yep. I'm gonna connect the rails. All right. Hmm. Almost. Perfect. Now for the rails. Let's hurry. There, it's all finished. But it's still full of water. I guess it's not all finished. The shelter's flooded. That's what I was saying. In that case, we can set up signs to prevent the water from flooding back in. Then, we can use sponges to absorb all the leftover water inside. Oh. That should do the trick. Nice, nice, nice. Now all the water's We're gone. finished? Yep, we just need to add a few things, like a crafting table. Maybe a furnace and a couple of beds, too. We should have some food. Oh, definitely. Now I'll just put down the beds. Okay. Nice. I think we're done for real this time. We're done? Whoa, this is really something. Now we just need to wait for the zombies. Let's go. They're here. Uh-oh. It looks like a lot of zombies spawned. So many. This isn't good. Oh, no. Let's go back. I think they see me! Hurry! Whoa! Will the snow golems fight? Hang on! There's a swarm of baby zombies chasing me! Run! Bring it on, snow golems! Stop the baby zombies for me! Cross the lava moat! Uh. Come on, JJ! Right! The lava! Nice! Are we safe? Why aren't the snow golems fighting? They're definitely fighting! They're knocking the zombies in! Wow! Great security! It's time to run! Come on! Get inside! Oh, this is really bad! I'm opening it! The secret entrance! There! Nice! Let's go! Hurry! Shut it! Uh-oh! Some of them got in! They're inside? 
Here they come. Let's try this out. This is bad. Fire charges. It's so strong. Oh, that worked pretty well. Wow. That's super powerful. Yeah, I can't believe it. So effective. Are there more breaking in? I think you might be right. The fire charges won't last. There are way more zombies getting inside. More? It'll be fine. What? How? We still have more security. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Click. Yes. Me too. It's my turn now. Do it. It's my turn now. I'm eating the golden apple. Oh, nice transformation, Mikey. Close one. Whoa, netherite armor is the best. Mikey, do you think it's about time we tried out the zombie capture device? Oh, I forgot about that one. Quick, pull the lever. Will this even work? Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! So many! That's amazing! Great trap! Whoa, there's too many. Let's take them out, JJ! Wow, incredible! Look, they're all riled up. Well, it is zombie horde day today. Yes, finished! Awesome! We did it, good job! Our security rocks! Uh, Mikey, this is bad. The zombie horde is getting in. They are? This is terrible! How can there be this many of them? Oh well, at least we're still safe for the time being. Uh-oh, uh, this one's out of fire charges! No way! Hang on, Mikey, hurry! Uh, come over here, quick! Here! They're breaking in! Get in the hatch! They're coming for us! That isn't good. Uh-oh, Mikey! What now? We have to run for it. I'm pulling the lever. Get in! Hurry, hurry! Oh, no! Hop on! Whoa, I think I hear the explosions! Crazy! Whoa! What the? We're on the escape minecart, so we should be safe. <laughs> you hear that? The explosions? Well, we're in our ultra-secure underwater shelter now, so we'll just have to wait it out until morning. Sounds good. Yep. I'm glad we made it. Yeah, me too. Uh-oh, we've got a problem on our hands. Tonight, this house will be under attack. We're facing up against a massive army of assassins. We need to design security systems to protect ourselves from our enemies. We better hurry up and get ready. Here's the thing. We've got a villager in the house. Really? I have a plan. We're going to set up seven security systems to make sure the villager is protected. The first one will involve bamboo and sweet berries. We'll be protected with bamboo and sweet berries? That's right. Let's build it a bit of a distance from the house. This should be good. This security system uses nature. It's bamboo time. Bamboo? Yep, bamboo. Watch this. I'm going to plant some shoots. Bamboo's interesting. It's hard to get past them when they're close together. That's true. You're gonna bump into them. They get in the way a lot. I know. Even if a lot of assassins are coming after us. Yeah? They'll have a hard time getting through the bamboo shoots. They won't be able to attack. Oh. That's our advantage. I get it. It gets in their way. That's right. Bamboo gets in the way easily. Cool. I'm planning as much as I can. Ooh. My plan is to surround the house with it. Great idea! Right now, they're growing at maximum speed. So far, so good. I'll keep planting shoots. Oh, help! Plant them like this, all the way around. I'm on it, JJ! This looks good. Wow! Great! Oh, thanks. The more bamboo, the better. Okie dokie! Yes. Now then, time to increase the growth speed. Sure! Hmm? There! Wow, awesome! I can't imagine anyone getting through. The bamboo will stop them! I mentioned one other plant besides bamboo. Remember? Sweet berries. Huh? Sweet berries? Let's go. Sweet berries are famous for being super delicious. Here they are. Yummy! See what I'm doing? I sure do! I'm filling the openings between the bamboo with sweet berries. That way, the thorns on the sweet berries will damage the assassins. We'll make them grow with bone meal. Now they're gonna hurt. Ouch! That was painful! My turn! Wait! Ouchies! These will be a real pain in the neck! That's right. If the assassins try to push through our bamboo shoots, they'll get prickled by the sweet berries. This is gonna be a strong, natural security system. Powerful and dangerous. I'll plant some on the other side. Okay, me too. We'll plant a whole garden of sweet berries. By using these plants, we've made a completely nature-based defense. This is great. Awesome. Make sure we fill all the openings. Okay. 
everywhere between the bamboo. This is a lot more work than when we planted the shoots. Yeah, we should plant lots to protect ourselves. Will this stop the assassin army? There's still a lot more to do to protect our villager. You're right. We need way more security systems. That's right. Now what? This is good. What a great defense. We nailed it. Okay, let's grow the sweet berries. Sure. There. Wow, pretty. Awesome. This is incredible. The sweet berries are finally bearing fruit. Strong security. On that note, we've completed our first security system. A natural defense using bamboo and sweet berries. I hope this protects our villager friend. I don't know if it'll be enough, so I'm gonna set up a second security system. What is it? I call it the fire charge trap. The fire charge trap? That sounds really powerful. It is, and I'm about to tell you why. Like the name suggests, I'll be using fire charges. I'm gonna place a dispenser, then load it to the max, just like this. There. Now I'll duplicate the dispenser by making a copy, then I'll line them all up. Mm. Well, I guess they're more like landmines than anything. I'll tell you what makes them so powerful. See how I'm covering the tops of each fire charge dispenser with a pressure plate? Mm -hmm. Check this out. Huh? Flamethrower! Wow! Incredible! Fire attack! Nice! That's crazy! Look how powerful this is! Whoa! You can't get past it! And that's the point. Let's keep going. I'll place them here. Perfect. I'll add a bunch. Nice. I wonder how much of the assassin army will be able to stop with all our fire charges. Hmm. Tons. Perfect. Just like that. Wow, this rocks. Okay, that's good. Time to place the pressure plates. Good idea. I can place the pressure plates above the dispensers while shifting. This way, I'll be able to get them all. I'll keep going. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. All done. If they make it past here, we would need a surefire way to stop them for good. I'm gonna build a moat. Basically, I'm gonna dig a massive hole. I'll make sure it goes around the entire house, though. I'll try to make it wider than I usually did. Mm -hmm. I'll make it six blocks wide. This is gonna be one big moat. Yeah! Like this. Wow! Oh, thanks. Now then. I wanna make it deep, too. Super duper deep. Alright! Let's dig. Dig, dig, dig! Off to a great start. It's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, you're right. I hope we're done in time. Right. We want to be finished before the attack. There's only one villager living in this house, and it's our job to protect him no matter what. Let's do it! Protect him! Nice! There we go. Yay! We're done! Yep. It's pretty deep. This moat is amazing, but it's not done yet. Let's put magma blocks inside. Smart! If they walk on magma blocks, yeah? they'll take some major damage. These might actually stop the assassin army. Best moat ever! I wouldn't want to fall in here. That's right. Nobody would want that. It's strong. These magma blocks are hot. Ah, a perfect addition to our security. Yep. Okay. Almost done. Terrific! Wow! Nice! Are we finished? Yes! All done! Awesome! I don't think they'll be able to get past this. Really? Sweet! Whoa! <laughs> yep, this is painful! This is really gonna hurt! Here's the thing, Mikey. There's just one problem. What? This is great if you're in the house, but there's no way to cross over. I know! How are we supposed to get inside? We need a bridge, and not just any bridge. My plan is to build an assassin-proof bridge that only we can get over. It'll be the fourth security system, the ultimate bridge. Let's start building it now. Good idea! First up, we want obsidian. Obsidian? Nice! 
Obsidian is important. Next, I need a note block. Mm -hmm. huh. Now I'll add an observer and a sticky piston. Oh, I get it. I'll add another one of each to this side too. Let's fill the gaps in with honey. Nice! I need to build the other half, the opposite side of the bridge. Here. Huh? All right. Wait. Hmm? Done. You don't have to put anything there, Mikey. It's finished? How does it work? Look! Huh? Let's test the ultimate bridge. It's ready? Yeah, we built it pretty fast. Step on this honey. All right. Good. Now what? Watch this. Huh? It's moving! Yes! We crossed the moat! And now, let's go back! Huh? This is amazing! So if we find ourselves on this side, we can cross the bridge. No way! But this way, the assassins aren't able to cross. Perfect! This is the best! Whoa! Great! This bridge is fun! I know! The fourth security system is complete. The ultimate bridge. Awesome! Now it's time to make our fifth security system. What? We need another line of defense to protect our bridge. After all, if it weren't for this bridge, we'd have no way of getting across the moat. Mm -hmm. That's why we need something to keep the bridge safe. We'll need three things. Snow, pumpkins, and a trap door. I think I'll grab some wood blocks too. Yeah, these'll work. Mm. What's the plan? We'll see. I'll build it like this. Now then. I'll add these. Huh? Perfect. What is this? Now it's time to build as many snow golems as I can. Woohoo! <gasps> I get it! Good. Oh. Snow golems throw snowballs. They don't do any damage, but they can still be put to good use. Uh, wait, Mikey, what are you doing? I made a mistake! There. Uh-oh! The snowman fell on the magma! <laughs> See this block? Leave it empty. Oh. Now then. There. Wow, you're fast! Okay. That's good. This means our fifth security system is complete. We've created our very own snow golem army to defend the bridge. Mm, all done! For the sixth security system, I'm planning to build an automatic armor machine. We can build it inside the house. Mm -hmm. If the assassins reach us, we'll have to fight for ourselves. We'll have no choice! I'll start by doing this. Mm. It'll be easier for us to fight if we have armor. I'm putting in dispensers. Next, I'll sprinkle some redstone at the bottom. Finally, I'll put a button on the wall. Then I can fill the dispensers. I think I'll add some diamond armor. That sounds awesome! A diamond sword might be good too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and an enchanted golden apple. I see. I'll put one item in each of the dispensers. Perfect. Nice. Okay. If you press the button, you instantly get equipped with every item you put in. We'll use this if they break in. Right. In that case, we'd have to armor up and fight the assassins. We're so prepared! Now for the seventh defense. Seven? The seventh security system will be our last resort. We'll only use it if the assassins take control of the house. I'm making a self-detonating device. The seventh one will be just in case. The self-detonation will be super strong, so we'll only set it off after we escape. Look over here. I'm creating an escape route. Let's keep the villager here. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere. I'll place two sticky pistons here and one more down here. Nice. Let's keep going. Sure. Okay. I'm creating a signal. There. Let's see. All right. I'm sending a signal under the floorboards. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. 
I'll leave this open. Sure. It works! Nice! What next? I'll continue the signal. Wow, that's great! Yeah, I think I'll delay it on this side. That should probably do the trick. Yeah, perfect. A secret entrance. Wow. Now it's time to add a crafting table. Take a look at this, Mikey. Ooh. See? Amazing! Just pull the lever. Wow. And suddenly our secret entrance is revealed. Cool! I'll start clearing this out. Sure. In order to prevent fall damage, I'm gonna put a slime block down at the bottom. Now what? Oh. Wow! I'll dig along here. Let's go! We'll go super deep. Okay. Sure. How's this? Hmm? I don't know. We're so far! Whoa! We went quite the distance. Around here should be fine for our destination. What's the quickest way out of here? It can't be walking. What if I cover our escape route with ice and use a boat to get across? That's one of the fastest ways to travel. Sounds awesome! Great! Whoa! Let's go! Okay. Next, I'm gonna load this chest up with a boat. Will I be able to fit through? Oh, I guess it's not wide enough. Let's clear it out. Two blocks wide should be good. First, I'll lay the ice on the ground. Whoa! This is incredible! I'll clear the rest by hand. Let's go! Good work! Thanks! I'm so impressed! Great! What's next? It's perfect! Let's test it out! Sure! I have a feeling we can escape this tunnel in an instant! This'll be our emergency escape! Right! Nice. There's still more work we have to do! What? Let's make another emergency escape device here. We'll need it to get to the surface. Huh. I understand. Let's get going. We'll use dispensers and TNT. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice job. Why don't we try it like this? Good idea. Now it's finished. Sweet! Now we need to fill it with water. Oh, thanks! No problem! Wow! There we go. Almost done. Cool! One sec. Sure. It's a bit narrow. But it should shoot us straight up. I'll put a button here. Oh. By pressing this button... I'll shoot straight up to the surface! This is awesome! Okay, what's next? I know. I'm gonna build a watchtower over here. Mmm! Sweet! Up here... Yeah? We'll trigger the self-detonation. Huh? Then we'll be safe as the assassins and the house go up in smoke. This is our last resort. You're right. It's the very last resort. We'll only use it in the worst case scenario. Here's the lever. I want to relay the detonation signal through a redstone circuit. Oh, nice. So far, so good. All right. I'll place the redstone through here. It'll run underground, out of sight. Cool! Don't let the villagers see it. Right. We'll need to place a couple of repeaters about halfway through the circuit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Without them, it's hard for redstone to communicate over long distances. Oh! That's why I'm using repeaters. I see. Let's bring this tunnel down some more. We need to dig deep. We don't want to bump into anything. Like what? The magma moat. 
There we go. That should do the trick. Now it's time to extend the redstone signal vertically. That's right. It's supposed to be structured like this. Okay. The redstone torches will continue the signal upward. Nice. If you keep alternating with random blocks, you can go as high as you want. Wow. Yes. We just stretched the redstone signal all the way to the rooftop. That's amazing. This is great. I covered it. Oh, thanks. All right. Now then, I'm going to set up the redstone comparator up here. Done. Wow. Okay. I'll need to put a dispenser here. Oh, careful. Good. That should work. I'll put the TNT in here later. But for now, I'll just use redstone. <laughs> Look, it's raining redstone. That's so cool. I'd say we're almost done. Maybe I'll add a few more things. One, two, three is enough. Now we're done. Mm -hmm. Next, I'll make sure the switch is off. Okay, I think everything is ready to go. We're done? Good work. Get ready for the assassin. Sure. Let's run through the plan. First, we open the secret entrance, then drop down to the slime. Next, we ride our boat down the ice tunnel. Then, we climb up the watchtower to activate the self-detonation device. It's perfect. I don't know about the villager. Maybe I should make a specific shelter for him. This will be the villager's very own personal private bunker. Mm. During the self-detonation, the villager can hide down here. And this will keep him safe. I hope so. Will it work? Yeah. There's not a lot of room down there. Hmm. I'll add a trap door. I hope this works. There. Okay, let's put the villager in here. We'll break him out of the glass cage, then get ready for the assassin army! Yeah! Hmm, they should be here any minute now. Brace yourself. We have strong security. Yeah. It's almost time. Where are they? I'm not sure. Hmm? Huh? Wait. Where are they? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, the attack is about to begin. Look over there! Uh, They're coming! Look out! What do we do? Uh, don't step on the pressure plates. Right. We'll be safe behind the bamboo shield. For a little while, at least. Oh, yeah. Look! What? There! They're stuck? Can they make it through there? Oh, they're taking damage! Awesome! Awesome! This is easy. It's too easy. Oh, they can't get through. I guess we win. Really? We pretty much already won if they can't even make it past this. Easy. Easy peasy. They broke through! Well, huh? We got inside! What? Really? How? I don't know! Oh no! Not good! The fire charges aren't doing much! Lead them to the magma! Got him! Whoa! whoa I fell down! This is bad! I have to get out of here! Oh, jump, 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 jump! Come on, DJ! Hold on! Ugh. There! I got a dirt block! I can bring you some more! Are you alright? Here you are! That was pretty dangerous! Oh wow! Alright Mikey, let's cross over to the house! Let's go! Are you ready? We have to move, hurry! Wait! No! Hold on! I'm coming! Good job! Whoa! You made it across. This is bad. There's so many. What can we do? Let's head to the house for now. Good idea. I think they're closing in on us. The villager! He escaped! Where's he going? Come back, villager! Hurry! In here! Oh, he's coming Hurry, home! He's back. 
Wait, are we crossing over the moat? I think so. That's not good. What do we do? It looks like we have no choice but to fight. Let's put the villager in his bunker. Bye-bye. All right, he's safe. Nice. Let's block it off. I'll put the lid on. There. Okay, now it's time to fight them. I'll eat a golden apple first. I'm gonna put my equipment on. Okay. Whoa. Perfect. I'm all armored up. We're ready to fight. Let's go. Take that. Uh oh, there's too many. Are you all right? I think we're a bit too outnumbered, JJ. Right. I'm not sure if we can win this. Let's run for now. Back to the house. Sure. I made it. I don't know how we survived out there for so long. Wow. I don't think we can protect the house anymore. We have to give it up. You're right. Even if we leave, I think the villager will probably be safe in his bunker. Yeah. Let's take the emergency exit and blow this place to bits. I'm ready. Let's go. Wait, don't leave me behind. Yes. Whoa. Hurry. Coming. Mikey? Oh, there you are. I'm here. I'll put the boat down on the ice. Sounds good. Wow, this is super fast. Sweet. Okay, I made it. Let's keep going. I'm right behind you. Are we safe? Whoa! Nice. If we land on the hay, then we won't take any fall damage. I'm coming. Amazing. What is? Come see. Wow, 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 wow! I made it. Huh? No way! We have no choice. I see. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Our last resort is to use the self-detonation device. Did it work? Oh! Huh? What? That was incredible, JJ! Wow! There's still a bunch of them outside. How about we just leave the house behind? Maybe there's a town nearby. Let's escape before they notice us. At least we survived the attack. Today, we want to have a security house battle. It's a security battle! Huh? Security battle? Sounds fun! Here are the rules. I'm gonna create my security house and you're gonna come up with a strategy to deal with my security systems. Does that make sense? I got it. Okay. There we have it. For the next little while, I'm gonna build my security while you go somewhere to kill time. Okay. I'll go over there! Bye! Now that Mikey's gone, I need to start building some security. Let's see... First, I want to use a dispenser. I'm gonna use a dispenser with a few fire charges. I'm gonna make the most powerful trap in the world. How should I do this? I'll make it really long. That's probably good. We'll set up security at the entrance to the house like this, and I'll turn all the blocks into dispensers. Just like that. Good. Now I need to load up these dispensers with fire charges, and on top, I'll lay out the stone pressure plates. By doing that, the instant he steps on this trap, the fire chargers are emitted from beneath the floor. Now to fill the other dispensers. Done. Now what I need to do next. There, it's complete. This is full of fire charges. If you step on it, the flames will instantly set you on fire. It's an incredibly powerful trap. Whoa, really powerful. Now I want to surround the first trap with an infrared laser fence, something like this. I'll leave it like this. Just like this. Okay, I'm all finished. I call it burning floor. Assuming that Mikey makes it past here, I should build another security system. I'm gonna build a house in this area. Like this. 
I'll design the building like a long, narrow house. Like this. Yes. And like this. With this trap, I'll capture Mikey and lock him in a house with a bunch of zombies. Just a bit more. I'll make the building about this high. First, I'll make the basic frame, then I'll cover the entire building with really thick blocks of tempered glass. Good, good. And now, I'm gonna make a device that will capture Mikey. Something like this. What I need now is redstone. And a few stone pressure plates. Like this, maybe. By installing the pressure plates here, even if he tries to get outside, the doors will close on him, which means as soon as he enters, he won't be able to escape. I'll put one on the other side, too. This way. I'll lay redstone here and pressure plates. <laughs> With that, once he's caught in here, this will look like a switch to deactivate the pressure plates, but it's actually another trap. Maybe here? Right here. I'll install the lever here. It appears to be a lever that lets you outside, but in fact, it's something completely different. Something like this. Like this? Here's a redstone lamp. Like here. Hmm, I'll use stone here. And there. Good. Next. Right here, I'm going to install a dispenser. Zombie spawn eggs will appear from inside here. I think I'll load it with about five. All done. The trap to have Mikey locked in a house with zombies is complete. I'll set up lasers to make sure he stays on course. It's complete! Now for the next step. When I think of security, I think of lava. I'll set up a lava river. Just in case Mikey gets past this security, I'll set it up around here. Good! The lava river is complete. I'm gonna lead him into it. So, why did I decide to make a lava river? So that I can make a bridge here, which is actually a trap that's only designed to look like a bridge. And then... The lava river and the bridge are finally done. Now I want to set up some sort of trap here. What should I set up? I could use something like the tripwire hook for the trap. I'll set up a tripwire hook right here and over here. Once I've done that, I can complete it with this string. This activates the trap. I should move it further up. Somewhere here. Okay. Now I'll install a command block that turns this bridge into an infinite time loop. Once I do that, I'll program the command block and it'll be complete. 
Next, in order to make the hooks less noticeable, I'll cover the indents with a couple of gray carpets, just like this. Nice! With that, the infinite time loop bridge is complete. Mikey's gonna be crossing this bridge forever. Oh, I forgot to put on the string. Good thing I remembered. It's finished. Next, let's assume that Mikey gets past the magma and the time loop. To deal with that, I need to start building my security house. I want to build my security house somewhere in this general area. First, we need some stairs. Great. I want to climb up these stairs. When you think about security, it's better to have it high above the ground. Hmm, I've come to a pretty high place. This should be a good place to stop building. It's more than high enough. Now I have to make a few pillars. This will be where I make my security house. If he makes it all the way inside, then that means I lose the competition. This will be my last resort. I need to set up a trap that'll stop him for sure. There, that's good. I've completed a very simple foundation. Now I'm gonna start constructing my security house out of iron blocks. Something like this. Good. Okay, this is my security house. Time to add some devices. I need a door here. I'll use this door because the entrance isn't visible. This dark oak door, I'll install it here. Then I'll place some pressure plates here to make it an automatic door. There's actually a reason why I'm making it automatic even though it's supposed to be a security house. I want this to be a fake entrance. I'll make the real entrance here. I need two signs and a painting, like these. First, I'll place the sign there. Now, I'll place a sign above it. If I crouch, I can put a sign on top of the sign, just like this. Now, I'll place the painting. All done. So the real entrance is here, where I'll enter. By doing this, it's easy to make a hidden door. Let's see. I'm gonna dig a hole right here where Mikey enters, just like this. Mikey will enter the door unsuspectingly and fall through the giant hole. Next, I'll add some furniture inside. I think I'll place some treasure in here. Good. Okay. Then, after that, assuming Mikey falls, I'll need a way to capture him. Here. I'm making a glass prison where Mikey will be confined in the end. Now like this, I'm gonna use iron bars to finish off the rest of the prison. Okay, it's done. What next? Oh, I'll probably make the entrance. It'll be an iron door. I should make it so it only opens from the outside. Now, when Mikey falls in here, there's a chance he might die from the fall. I should make the floor out of slime, because that way he'll take zero damage from landing on it. Even when he drops from above, boing, the slime will absorb the fall. Okay, it's complete. I'm finally finished building my security house. I guess that means it's time to bring Mikey over. Oh. Hey, Mikey. You ready? Yep, I'm all done. Good job! Oh, I got prepared too, look! You did? Ta-da! 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 
I made armor. Whoa! I'm sure I'll win. So you gathered diamonds and made diamond armor, huh? That's right. I'm gonna win against your security house. Are you ready? Mm, ready. You need to get past my security. See there? It's your goal to get to my security house at the top of the stairs. Now, without any further ado, start! Is this a battle, JJ? Hmm, what do you do first? Huh? Yeah. Y here I go, no matter what. Huh? Oh, I'm on fire! Help! Oh. Help! Wait a second, what's going on? <laughs> what is this? Mikey, this is the burning floor. Ouch! Flames come up from beneath you. I've got no choice but to push through! Oh, wow, Mikey, you forced your way through. <laughs> Good job, Mikey. I'm glad I properly prepared for this. I safely passed through it. Oh no, I need to get through here fast. Huh? What's this? There, okay. You're quick. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, how do I get out of here? It worked. Huh? How come you could get out, but I can't? Well, Mikey, this is a Mikey capturing device. You've been captured, and you can't escape, no matter what. I'm sorry to say. <gasps> what? But I know, JJ. <laughs> there must be some way of getting out of here. That's pretty clever of you. Do your best. Huh? Oh, I knew it. Look, there's a lever here. I know this. If I pull it, I can get out, just like you did. <laughs> uh, here's the thing, you see, I think you're gonna regret it if you pull that lever. I'll be fine. I won't regret it. I'm prepared. I'm wearing armor. Okay, I'll pull it. Three, two, one. Huh? Did it work? Huh? Ah! There's zombies! I can't get out! Mikey? I'm trapped in here! Too bad for you. That was a zombie generator. What? No, wait, <laughs> However, no, wait, Mikey, wait. you should be fine because you're wearing the diamond armor. You'll survive. Wait! Wait! Ah! Good luck! No, I can't! You're destroying the pressure plates? I want to destroy the pressure plates, but the little zombies are too quick! You'll have to defeat the little zombies then. I'll try! <laughs> They're way too strong! Well, I do feel sorry that the little zombies appeared. They're really tough. They are! And they don't seem to get tired! Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah! The little ones are gone! Oh, man! I thought I'd be able to get out! Come a little closer! If you lure them away, you might have a chance. Yeah! You got it! Please, please! Ah! I'm cutting it pretty close! Really close! Come on! I'll do this, then dash! Hmm? You got it this time! I'm close! Hey! I did Whoa, it! Whoa, you're free! I got out! Oh, a bridge! I can escape! Uh, Mikey? Huh? What? What was that? Wait! Wait! Mikey, you'll find this bridge to be a lot of trouble. <laughs> huh? How? Hmm? What is this? JJ's right there! Huh? What the? I figured it out! Hmm? Huh? What? I see a wire. I imagined you would figure it out. I'll do this. <laughs> oh no, he got past it. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, this is easy. I should run. Wait up. <laughs> Perfect. I'll sneak in through I'm here. I'm coming after you. Right. Okay, <laughs> Mikey. Huh? You've made it pretty far, Mikey. Huh? There's no security here. Why? If you enter this house, that means I lose. What? But it's just a door! Uh, there's something suspicious going on! Huh, what is it? There's nothing! I wonder! If I dash in, I'll be fine, right? Okay, I'm well prepared, so I'll be fine! Three, two, one, go! What the? Hey! Success! I did it! <laughs> what happened? Oh, Mikey! was only the one door! Well, the truth is, the oak doors were a trap. I disguised the real entrance with a painting. I can't even see it from here! <sighs> well, Mikey... I lost. My security succeeded. A complete defeat. I thought I'd prepared enough. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. You made it through the other traps, so I'll set you free. Oh, thank you. You made a great security house, JJ. That was fun, huh? It was. 
and it was tough too. Here we go again with a really strange problem. Huh? What are these? They're so scary! Wait, they're just a bunch of dolls. <laughs> Mikey, they're not just any dolls. Huh? They're super evil, super violent dolls. <laughs> scary! But why aren't they attacking? Huh? See? Nothing. They're really dangerous, but they're only dangerous at night. Oh. When it becomes nighttime, these dolls will get super violent and attack us. What? Nighttime? Will they attack the village too? What should we do? I know, Mikey. Let's build some security. Right. That's the best way to survive. We have to build a security system before nighttime. Let's do this. Once the sun goes down, the dolls will start to move. We have to start preparing. Huh? Right here, let's set up a couple of arrow launchers. Let's do it! We're going to be constructing security right at the village entrance. I'll load the arrows. Hmm, this looks good. Yeah! Now then, these launchers will be automatic. Cool! Now I'll do this. Oops! Oops! Now I'll put a lever here. The launchers are ready. You loaded them? Yes, sir. Should we test it out? Sure. Bombs away! <laughs> Whoa! This is awesome! Woohoo! That's something. This can repel any enemy no matter how strong they are. Yeah, this will protect us a lot. I think that's good for now. Okay. It would be nice if arrows were the only things we needed to defeat them. Hmm. But we should probably be prepared in case they make it inside the village. Oh, what are we going to do then? I have an idea for something we can use against them. Huh? It's a cobweb. I know what a cobweb is. Careful not to get caught in one. Exactly. When you get caught up in a cobweb, your movement practically comes to a standstill. We should set these up throughout the village and make sure the dolls don't get through too quickly. Hmm. One other thing. We should set up the cobwebs close to where the arrows are launched. Right there. Here? Yeah, here. Just like this. We should put down a lot. We'll put a bunch over there, but we also want to put some cobwebs down in the village. We better go fast. I want to be fully prepared by nighttime. Because that's when the dolls arrive. Yep. We'll set them up all over the place. This will slow them down. Make sure they're spread out evenly, okay? That way, we can protect the village. Yep. Let's keep going. This will totally stop them. Yeah. There. Just like this. This is incredible! I'm gonna set them up in places like this, too. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm, great. This is so well protected. There's no way anybody will be able to get through here. This is probably enough for now, you think? Definitely. Here's the plan. They'll come at us from the ground and get caught in the cobwebs along the way. Once they get close, you and me can escape on the higher level without being slowed down. Oh. Oh, I should make mine out of glass, too. That's better. Like this? Yep, looks good. Awesome. We can attack from up here, too. Yeah! What kind of weapons should we use? I still have a bunch of arrows. Those might be useful. Hmm, what about grenades? What? Here. You have grenades? Thanks! We'll fight with grenades. Sure. We can attack them once they're caught in the cobwebs, like this. Whoa! Yeah, exactly like that. Oh, nice! This is good! We can take down the dolls like this! Whoa, that's awesome! Huh, we'll win this! Yeah! Nice, is it done? We should prepare more in case this doesn't work. What? We need to think of another way to defeat them? In case the grenades don't work, I have another plan. Huh? Okay. Let's build the last resort secret base. We have to make sure it's extra safe. We can hide there if the village gets destroyed. Let's do it! In that case, I'm thinking I should build a perfect rampart for the next section. Huh? Did you say a rampart? Yeah, it's kind of like a wall. We'll build a wall. Okay, sure. It'll lead up to our shelter. I see. It's more like a really long path. Incredible! I've never seen anything like it. Is this good? Yeah! I'll add another layer. The higher, the better. Very nice! 
Okay. Oh. I want to make sure that the dolls can't come in from this side over here. JJ, I've got an idea! Hmm? That's great! Wonderful! There's no way they'll get through this rampart and that lava! I'll add just a bit more lava. Hmm. Great! It looks tough. The toughest! What should we do now? I don't know. I have something in mind. Watch this. What? Here. Oh! Hmm. I'll place a bit of redstone. Okay. There. Hmm. This'll let us jump on the side. Whoa! That's great! It's a jumping board. Just stand on the slime and hit the button. Whoa! Whoa! I see! Awesome! We'll climb up the wall with this. Okay, let's do it! Yep. That way, you and I can run up and down the top of the rampart and escape from the dolls. Now I'll install some infrared security lasers. Cool! We'll put the first one right here. Oh, I see what you're doing. We'll cover the whole path. This is good. Awesome! If we have lots of lasers like this, then we'll definitely beat the dolls. Yeah, we'll set up enough lasers to send the message that nobody gets through here. The electricity bill's gonna be expensive. <laughs> I know. They're glistening so much. Whoa! Well, sure it's expensive, but you can't put a price on survival. You're right. Staying alive is always the most important thing. I think we'll be okay no matter what happens. It's a good thing we're not in survival mode right now. That would be bad. This is awesome. This looks good. Are we done? Nope. We haven't even started building our last resort shelter. Oh, right. I want it to be high above the ground, so I'm going to construct a flight of stairs. Good call. Hmm. Let's see. There we go. Whoa, stairs. Will this be enough? I'm making stairs. Wow, awesome! Those stairs are appearing on their own! I'm still going higher. There we go. Hmm, this should be high enough for a shelter. Totally. I'd better reinforce it. I'll help. Sweet! Yeah! I decided to make a shelter really high up. However, it's not finished yet. There's more? What's next? I'll show you. Now that the stairs are done, I'm going to make another long path that I can adjust later down the road. Right. Path, path, path. Let's put a shelter here. We can make it out of bedrock. Bedrock's always really useful. Right! Bedrock can't be broken no matter what. True. Minecraft's toughest block. Yeah, Minecraft's toughest block. Ooh. Now we need to build a couple of facilities here that will help us survive for up to three days. What do you think we should make it out of? Sand, maybe? Yeah, we could do sand. Huh? Is there a better option than sand? Why don't we use iron? Let's use iron. For safety. Yeah, let's make it tough. It's a shelter after all. This looks awesome. Something like this. Hmm. This rock! Thanks! I'll make a little lever to operate the door. Cool! Now I'll make a window. Sure, good job! Thanks. Since we plan on being here for three days, we definitely need some beds and maybe a crafting table and a furnace while we're at it. Nice! And finally, I'll throw in a cauldron. Great! Last but not least, I'll make a chest full of apples for our emergency food supply. Yum! All done! Does that mean we're ready to go? Uh, wait! Not done yet, Mikey! What? I'm gonna tear out this path! Huh? In order to make a true last resort shelter, I need one more mechanism. What are you talking about? I need TNT. <gasps> also sand and pressure plates. This is important. Like this? Yeah, just like that. I'll keep going. Let's fill in the gaps. Sweet. 
Now let's cover it with sand. Sand? I can do that. Nice. What's next? Now we add the stone pressure plates on top. Hmm. I'm gonna practice it once. If anybody steps on the pressure plate, oh, then they fall to the ground. Whoa! And so does the TNT. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to get inside the shelter is to cross the bridge with the collapsing floor. I don't think the dolls would be able to make it over. <sighs> Perfect. Let's fill in the rest of these pressure plates. Be careful! If I step on something, it'll fall through and we'll have to rebuild it. Oh no! Oh, that was fast! One more! Great! There! Awesome! The bridge is complete! This means that the shelter is complete too! We finished everything! Now we just need to wait for nighttime to come. Wait! One more thing! Hmm? Did we forget something? Follow me! Surveillance cameras! Yep! I'll place more! <laughs> Using a surveillance camera is a great idea! Thanks! Whoa! I'll put one here! Definitely! We can put them wherever we want! I'll put one more down! Where? <laughs> Whoa! They're scary! I can't believe the Latakis when it's nighttime! Let's wait! Look! The sun is already starting to set. Oh, it'll be night soon. Does that mean they'll come for us? I'm scared. It's going down. Are they going to attack us soon? I don't want to think about it. I know we've prepared a lot of security, but it's still really frightening. Hmm. I think we're going to be okay considering all our security. Make sure we start shooting arrows right away. Okay. The sky's getting a lot redder. Hopefully they don't attack us until after it's dark. Oh, yeah. But even if they do attack, our security will protect us. The sun is setting. Huh? I'm starting to get kind of scared. Uh, they're coming. I'll turn on the arrows. Hurry, hurry. Shoot, shoot. It's hitting them. I'm glad we prepared. We can do this. Uh oh, they're really moving. They're getting past us, Mikey. What? No way. Run, 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 Mikey. Wait. I'm gonna throw a grenade! But they're moving pretty... Fast? It looks like the cobweb traps are actually working! Sorta! Now's our chance! Grenades, go! Keep throwing them, Mikey! Go! Oh, oh no! I've fallen off the walkway! I'm in trouble! I'm in trouble too! I've fallen! JJ! No way! I'm climbing back onto the platform! Did you fall? Yeah, I did! Uh-oh! Even the cobwebs! They're getting past them, aren't they? I think they might be. <gasps> Not good. They're running towards us. Ah! This is a problem. Uh, Get on the walls. What? I'm coming. Uh, huh? The rabbit is almost through. Don't come any closer to us. Run, run, run. This isn't good. The lasers are up ahead. They can defeat him. Mikey, I've fallen again. Huh? JJ? Are you okay? This is really bad. What do you mean? I mean terrible! Something terrible! The infrared laser is hitting, but it's not doing any damage? Are you serious? The chick is catching up. I'm escaping! It's up here! Are they climbing? Don't give up! No way! Ah! Mikey, no! It's only you, JJ! Does that mean I'm on my own? Yep. I have to leave Mikey behind and keep running. I'll hurry. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Are you all right? Is the chick still after me? Whoa, I made it safely. Are you okay? I'll go there. Mikey, hang on. Oh, I see you. There you are. Wait, this is... They see me. Hang ah! on. They're headed toward me. No! Don't give up. Stop it, stop it, stop it. What's happening? No! Oh. Yeah, I oh. made it. <sighs> The dolls are falling. What happened? Whoa! Huh? Have they been defeated? The chick is still alive, but it seems we've defeated the others. <laughs> you know, Mikey, we survived. They could never make it across the bridge to get a hold of us. What? 
There's no way they could get over without all the blocks collapsing. Amazing! Let's sleep in here for the rest of the night inside our shelter. Good idea! In the morning, they won't be able to move! Sure! Once night falls, the zombie horde will arise. Our goal is to protect this house. Let's get building! What? A zombie horde? We need security measures! Let's do it! Yeah! Well, on that note, we're gonna build eight security measures to defend ourselves. Eight? Really? Yep. We need to start building. Our first security measure will be spike trips and lava. Hmm? Ta-da! Look, take this. Oh, thanks! This is a spike trap. Cool. I think we should build it a good distance away from the house. We can put them down just like this. These traps go directly on the ground. Oh. These are impressive. Yeah. That should do it. This will keep us safe. Here's how the spike traps work. As long as you're holding onto a copy of the master key, you're gonna be fine. But if you're not... Oh, wow! See that? Out of nowhere, spikes stick into your feet! Seriously? Check it out! That's amazing! When the zombies walk across this line, they'll be absolutely helpless in our mighty trap! So strong! Now then, Mikey, our mission is to protect the whole entire house, so we'll need to surround everything with a lava-filled moat. Let's start digging! Whoa! Just like that. Great! Nice work! Now for the lava. Okay. Looking good! Hmm. Perfect! Super perfect! This moat! Nothing will get through here! Yeah! Whoa! The spikes in the lava make an incredible defense! Nothing can cross lava, and the spikes will hurt way too much. The zombies don't stand a chance! Sweet! Would you look at that? This trap is really something! Awesome! Okay. Now we'll make a pitfall trap. Hmm? A pitfall trap? We're gonna be using these eggs, but for now, we just need to dig a big hole in the ground. Let's do it! Got it! Let's get digging! There's lots to do. This trap is gonna be huge! Dig! Dig! Come on! Hurry! Let's make this hole as deep as we can. Just like this. Alright! Sure! Hmm. That should be deep enough. Oh! That looks pretty good! This is one deep hole! Yeah! We'll seal up the top layer with this! Uh -huh. We're covering it? Yeah, let's go! But it's not a trap! Well, we're gonna place these eggs inside of the blocks on top! What are you talking about? Yeah, just like that! Huh? Time for the eggs! These eggs will make us the ultimate pitfall trap! Oh, thanks! Now then... Yes! What are you doing? You're just covering it with snow blocks! You think so, Mikey? Drop your key for a second! Sure. Now walk over there. Ah, no! Oh. I'm stuck here! It looks like you're trapped! Can you please let me out? Number three. Let's dispose of the zombies that fall into the pitfall trap. What? Trapping zombies is the first thing we have to do, but finding a way to properly dispose of them is just as important. Yeah, but how? Here's the plan. We're gonna replace everything in here with glass blocks. How's this? Good! Now that we've installed all this glass, we can observe the zombies' behavior at any time! Whoa! Cool! Nice! That should just about do it! Mm -hmm. Okay, now then. Right. We're gonna set up some special dispensers. Special dispensers? What makes them special? You can't tell? No idea. A normal dispenser only has one hole, but this dispenser has three now holes. Now that you mention it, I think you're right. Having the extra two holes means that these special dispensers can launch their ammo at three times the speed of a regular dispenser. No way! That's incredible! All right, then. That should do it. Yeah? That's it? Mikey? Huh? Look! Awesome! You can see it better from this side. Ready? See? Each special dispenser launches three arrows at once! That's really something! Does it have infinite ammo? Yep, it can fire forever! Whoa! Unbelievable! Now when the zombies fall into our pitfall trap, they'll be completely exterminated! This security rocks! Security system number three, zombie disposal unit is finally complete! It's finished! Four, a secret passage. 
There's nothing wrong with walking through a door like this, but... Yeah, but what? Won't the zombies just follow us straight inside? You're totally right! If we enter through the front door, the zombies are definitely going to follow us inside. I think our next step should be to build a secret passage into the house. Let's do it! First things first, we should probably start building the tunnel from somewhere around here. Sure! Sweet! Hmm, let's see. If we connect it somewhere along here, we can stop by and clear out the zombies that fell in the hole. Oh, true! After clearing them out, we can continue to the house. I see! Nice! We'll put the tunnel here. Okay, let's go! Keep on digging! I can't wait to see the rest of our security measures! Oh! It connected! We're through! We can make a nice set of stairs here! There! Great! Whoa! Sweet! It's done! Mm-hmm! The entrance still isn't hidden yet. I want to make a true secret entrance. Right. That looks about right. Is it? Clear it out first, and then we'll add pistons. Sure. We have to set the pistons up around here and here. I need to make sure it reaches this side. The repeaters go up here, and the redstone dust connects it all together. Just like this. OK. All right. Now we cover it with snow blocks. Wow, that's awesome! And now for the final touch. Huh? The lever. Nice! When you pull this lever, the pistons seal off the secret passage. Whoa! Now we'll place some sand on top of the sealed pistons, and on top of that, we'll add some snow. Oh! Just like that. Now the zombies won't be able to locate our hidden entrance. It's invisible. That's how you make a secret passage. When you open it, this happens. Whoa! Cool! It's done. Number five, automatic arrow turrets. That sounds strong. Go, go. Automatic? Whoa! Wait a sec, do you have your key? Uh-oh, I left mine behind. We need keys. Got it. All good? Yep. Okay, they'll shoot us with no keys as soon as you drop it. For real. We need to make it a habit of having our keys on us at all times. We can't drop it, no matter what. I'll be extra careful. Well, if the zombies happen to break in down here, we have these automatic arrow turrets to protect us. That way we can safely get to the house. Terrific. Are we done? Not yet. What else? Lots of things. Let's see. Yeah? If the zombies happen to break in, destroy our turrets, and swarm us, then eventually it would be up to us to enter the battle for ourselves. But how? An automatic equipment system. Oh, cool. This one is actually really easy to build. All we need is a couple of items. Dispensers, some redstone dust, mm. and a button. Yeah, that is easy. The only other thing is the equipment. What armor should I use? Diamond armor. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Cool. I'll put in full diamond armor and an enchanted golden apple, just in case we need to use it. Of course. Place one of each item into the dispensers. Put some redstone dust on the bottom. And a button up here. All done. Wow! Okay, great. It's perfect! The automatic equipment system is complete. Just push this button and you'll armor up in no time. That's just a safety net. I doubt we'll actually have to fight. Right? Right. Mikey? Hmm? Just to be safe... Just to be safe? We should build one final weapon. A powerful last resort. I think we should start building it right away. Yeah, let's do it. Seven, the last resort. These eggs are the key to everything. Wait, what are they? When these eggs are used, they summon one of the most powerful weapons ever known to man. Yikes. We need some dispensers. I see. That's good. They need to be able to reach everything. Right. Now, we need to place a single one of these eggs in each dispenser. I can do that! Thanks! Now then... This circuit is a bit messy. Whoa, nice! This looks good. Yeah. If we pull this lever, it'll activate our last resort. So be careful. I will be. 
I don't we'll need it. Yeah. We should set it up on the second floor as well. The basement is well secured, but there's a chance that the zombies might break down the door upstairs. We need to fortify the top floor as well. Let's do it. All right. This is how you extend the signal upward. Wow. Looks good. Really good. I think that'll work. Yeah. There. There. All connected. Nice. Now around this area, we could use some more dispensers. Yeah. Just like that. Cool. Hmm. Now inside the dispensers, we're gonna place our eggs. That was quick. Yeah. All done. Me too. Now to complete the circuit. Wow, that's impressive. That's good. Now if we pull this lever, it'll activate the last resort. But let's not try to use it unless we need to. All right, I won't touch it. Hmm. The reason for that is because our house will become super dangerous. Huh? I don't like how that sounds. Number seven. The last resort is finished. So, we're done? Not quite. One more thing. In the unlikely circumstance that we have to use our last resort, we'll need to make a break for it right away. Or else... Oh, you're right. Eight. The emergency lifeboat. Mikey, come on. Where to? The roof? Yeah, we'll just head up there for now. We're gonna need obsidian, honey blocks, observers, and sticky pistons for this final security measure. Oh, right, we'll also need note blocks too. Now then, hmm. I guess we can remake the roof. Sure. I need two rows of obsidian to make the runway for our emergency lifeboat. This is it. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. I'll place a note block right here. Then, an observer, a sticky piston, and a few blocks of honey. Next, on this side, We'll add another observer, another sticky piston, and two more honey blocks. Wow, fancy! When we touch the note block, the emergency lifeboat will activate. We can only use it once, so we have to save it for when we're in serious trouble. We should probably just leave it alone for now. I won't touch this or the last resort! I guess that means our eight security measures are finished! All done! Now we just have to wait for the zombies. Let's do it! All right, looks like the night has come. Already? Wait a minute. That's a lot of zombies. Seriously? Yep. Now I'm gonna draw them towards us. Let's do this thing. Huh? Are you kidding? Is this safe? I'll try and get them to notice me. Time to use our security measures. Yeah, our security measures will wipe them all out. Wow, there's so many. Whoa, they're following me. It's a zombie parade. Ouch. Uh-oh, I've been hit. You good? I'll be fine, because this place is equipped with traps. Yeah, nice. Watch this. Well? Bring it on, zombies. How's it look? I have some time to eat. It worked! Oh, look at that! Wow, amazing! Hang on a sec. They're breaking through. Make them cross it again. Sure. Wait, what about the pitfall trap? Drop them down there? Whoa, more zombies just spawned. Seriously? This isn't good. But the traps are catching most of them. Mikey, stay further back. Right around here. Whoa, they're falling in. It's working. That's incredible. Got him. I want more to drop in. Even more? They keep spawning. I think they're spawning faster and faster. What do we do? Wait, Mikey, try not to fall in the... Ah! Oh, Mikey! This is bad. I'm coming to save you, Mikey. Oh, no. Ugh. The zombies got you. They actually got me. I'm dead. Check out the automatic arrows. Mikey, come look at this. That's awesome. <sighs> it works. Sweet. It's working. Not for these two. Nice job. Now it's finally working. Well, Mikey, the zombies are going down, but we're getting caught in the crossfire. Will we be fine? Oh, it's hitting us. Oh, ouch. That hurts. We're definitely getting caught in the middle. Let's just exterminate the rest of the zombies. Let's do it! Punch that zombie into the arrows. I'm on it! Nice job! Now dash through while it's clear! I can make it! Yes! Almost! Ouch! That hurts! Ouchie! That was rough. What's the plan? Huh? Hold on a sec! Wait, when did they get here? Things are getting bad real fast! Oh, hang on! They're in! It's time to gear up! I messed it up! My turn! Go! It worked? 
I can't really tell. Did it? Yeah. Great. There are way more zombies in here than I'm comfortable with. Too many! <laughs> oh, it's no use! Hurry! The lever! Lever? If we must. Get out of the way! I have to reach it! Get it! I hit it! Go, go, go! You're burning! How did we even get to this point? Activating the last resort wasn't a problem. It's actually just flamethrowers! Oh, what? Everything's on fire! True, Mikey. But that means the house is on fire, too! That's not good! Get to the roof! Right! <sighs> Whoa, yes. hang on! Mikey! Come on! Here we go! Launch! Get on, Mikey! <sighs> I'm on! Close one! Get on the honey blocks! Okay! Whoa, look at that! Stay on! We made it out! Good job! Our house is completely on fire! <laughs> Our last resort was a bit much. So fiery. <laughs> yeah, this got messy. So we beat the zombies? Yep, but it looks like some of them are still trying to follow us. No big deal. If you enjoyed today's adventure, make sure to like and subscribe. Plus, you can check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok whenever you want with the links in the corner. Thanks for watching. See you next time!